So it's no secret that the price of web design is falling overall when you look at generic web design. And the reason for that is also pretty obvious, right? So there's Wix, there's Squarespace, there's Shopify, there's, there's Upwork, there's Fiverr. There's just so many different ways to build websites that it's just really cheap if really what you're after is the website itself. And so while it used to be the case that people with web design skills like you and me could just sell the web design, now the pricing is getting less and less and lower and lower. And not only that, but the demand for those types of services, like a custom coded website, is really decreasing over time. So the question is, well, what can we do to really fix that? Like, how can we get things moving back in the right direction? And I'm gonna give you three steps today, like three strategic steps that you can take to dramatically increase the value of your work as a web designer, and each step will increase your value even more. So you kind of start at the, at the, at the bottom, like the, the lowest and most inexpensive and fastest way to burn out, uh, way to kind of structure your business as a web designer is just to go out and sell websites to anybody. And what I mean by that is you kind of take your web design skills, maybe figure out how to use a couple of page builders or something like that so you can really speed up the production. And so you're getting good at Divi or, or Elementor or Beaver Builder or something like that, or maybe even a different platform altogether outside of WordPress, perhaps, maybe like, uh, like Squarespace. And I'm, I'm actually going to be talking about the difference between WordPress and Squarespace and you know, why I still believe WordPress is really the number one platform for people that do what we do, even going into 2021. Um, not to say that Squarespace is bad, but that's a topic for another day. But for right now, like what you really want to, you know, what, what you're really trying to do in this kind of level one space is just reach out to people that want websites and just kind of tap into your, your network of friends and people that you know, and your, just your social fabric of, of people that are business owners or whatever, and just offer them a website and just build websites for anybody out there. And that, that's kind of like where most people get started. And the problem with that though is the people that are looking for the websites aren't really looking to spend like thousands of dollars for websites, right? They they're kind of have a budget of around 500 to $1,000. Maybe, you know, maybe the $1,000 tends to be kind of on the high end. And so that's why it's kind of the, the, the lowest value step. They're just, hey, I'm, I'm really good at web design. I've got years of experience, perhaps, maybe even a degree, like in graphic design or something like that. And then you go out there and just try to build websites for anybody. And so that's level one. Well, the next step up is level two, which is not just doing it by yourself, but kind of finding a lead generation partner. Because the, one of the biggest problems with, with the first level is you just spend so much time trying to find leads. It's like, you know, you're just, you're just cold calling, cold emailing. Like once you kind of burn through that network of friends or whatever, then you kind of run out of people to build websites for, and then lead generation becomes a bear. I mean, it's just so... It's so hard and, then, and you find yourself just sending emails to all these people and getting ignored all over the place and then you start feeling like you're this, you, you start to devalue yourself. Like you begin to think that, oh, I'm just one of these guys just zinging out emails all over the earth and nobody cares and you're competing with the whole world and it's just, it's just a mess. So a better approach is, well, find somebody who's already bringing in the leads and then set yourself up as the, the web design partner for that sort of a thing. And so, of course, you know, immediately the first thing that will come to mind is, well, maybe just take overflow work from other agencies and you just kind of, you know, get leads from there. And that's that kind of, I guess that counts in this category, but it's not really what you want. That's because, of course, the problem with that is you're, you're, out, of, you're, you're out of control entirely with regard to pricing and stuff like that. So the better approach is to try to find an organization or a group that's offering some sort of a transformative marketing package for a particular type of clientele. So I've, got, I've actually done this twice and I have two, two really strong examples. Um, one was I started to build websites for people that, uh, that, that did direct mail for colleges and specifically for college students who were applying to go to college. And I actually became the, the, the web design branch of the direct mail company building websites specifically engineered to help students who were applying to college kind of get the application done faster. And so what I ended up doing was I ended up creating kind of this like a, it was almost like a software as a service sort of a product, but it was more, it was more customized. Like it wasn't, it wasn't completely turnkey, but the general idea was 
to take the direct mail campaign because the, the direct mail marketers, they already know the, the college applicant's name, their address. They probably have certain information about them already to make it seem like that would be a good fit for this particular college that's trying to recruit them. And so basically you had this, this data set on everybody getting applications. And so what we ended up doing was creating a website where in addition to getting the application by way of direct mail, like actual paper physical mail, but you also had a code. And you could go to the website, enter your code, and then your application was partially filled out for you based on all the information we already knew about you. And then all you had to do was answer the, the extra questions. So it really sped up the process. And that was my job. We made these, we call them e-channels, right? So it was like, it was a, like a, just a, a, a really specific type of website that was, I was, and so I was able to kind of push, position myself as like that type of web designer who knew how to combine basically the data file that came from the direct mail marketing campaign with the web so that college students could then log in and fill out applications, even to the point where they could even bookmark their spot in the, in the application and come back later. So it didn't have to be a single session event because, you know, something like if you have to write an essay or something like that, you don't want to necessarily do it all in one sitting. So I was able to position myself in that type of a, of a situation, which is a lot better because you're, you're much less replaceable than just trying to, you know, just build websites for agencies or something like that. So, and again, the, the direct mail company was, was delivering this kind of transformational product for the colleges, which is really making it, making it so much easier to apply to go to college that it was like a great way to recruit new students as opposed to just doing all the same stuff everybody else is doing. Uh, here, another example too, I got, um, I got connected up with a group that had a, um, it was called Living Matrix. <laughs> They've actually been acquired recently, but, the, um, but they were in the business, they had a, like, a, like a, life, a lifeline type medical history that they would use to assess what type of treatment you would want going forward depending on, you know, if, if a wide variety of things, like in, in, even things like autoimmune disease or uh, like actual like traditional ailments, but also like psychological issues or, um, or just helping with your overall mindset, all kinds of things that, that these guys could help you with. And there would be doctors involved and they would then train the doctors on how to use this software to get this kind of holistic view of their client's overall health. And again, not just their physical health, but their mental health, their emotional health, you know, all of the different things that could be affecting their overall lives. They had the software app that could help doctors compile that information. And so then doctors would come and get trained on how to use the app. And then they'd want to have a website that would help them help these individual doctors kind of spin up their practices as more of like a functional medicine practitioner, as opposed to just a, a mainstream doctor. And so then I would I position myself in that situation to know what it takes to actually build a medical practice and so the reason that I was getting all the jobs as opposed to other people was because I specialized in building websites for doctors. And then I positioned myself in such a way that I was, I was part of this transformational pod, you know, like, like, like doctors wanted to get out of the mainstream kind of primary care, kind of just run through as many patients as you can see, kind of, kind of structure for their practice and transform it into this thing where they had fewer patients, longer term relationships with the patients and could have this really in-depth knowledge of their overall lives. And I was a part of that transformation for them in, in the context of, of web design. And so that's level two. And so that's putting yourself in a position where you are a part of somebody's fundamental kind of transformative shift towards something. And so you, you can kind of partner up with these companies like the direct mail company or like the, the medical app company or whatever. And then you kind of become the, the web part of all of that. And you can charge a lot more. You get a lot more consistent leads. You're able to uh, position yourself in a way that's, that's significantly less replaceable than if you just are the web guy for random agencies and so forth. So the, the, the bottom line with step two is find a company or, an or, or a group or organization or something that's delivering like a really transformative result for their clients and then position yourself in such a way that you were the web branch of something like that and that you're and now you're beginning to specialize a little bit as well too right so like you know how to build websites for a particular purpose that makes a difference and so now you can really kind of set yourself apart from everyone else and again you can charge a lot more you'll have better relationships it's just a, a, a st much stronger platform than level one which was just building websites for anybody 
But then there's level three, and this is the big one. Level three is you become the transformative partner, right? So, so instead of partnering with someone who's offering a transformative shift, you deliver the transformative shift. And so that means you're, building, you're doing more than just building websites. You have, you have a specialization in a particular business, you're doing the web design, and you're also doing some marketing. And so really this is what DoubleStack is all about. Like the whole reason we put DoubleStack together was to be able to take web designers who want to be able to offer like a transformational shift for their clients and then be able to charge for that and, and put the whole business structure around that so that you can end up with somewhere around you know, five to 10 clients in your portfolio while you're making about $100,000, $150,000 a year. And so that means you have each client kind of paying you around a thousand or so dollars per month. And of course you also have the setup part as well, where you're doing the design and the branding and the, you know, the setup of the marketing tools and everything else. And then you become the transformative partner rather than you partnering with, like we were just talking about with the direct mail thing and the, the medical app, they're doing the transfor transformation. But step three is you're the transformation. And that's really where you want to be. And so ultimately when, when we're doing, when, when we're working together in double stack, if you really do, we were to like just pull back the curtains and take a look at what all that's about, we're doing three things all at the same time. We're, we're basically layering on three levels of your expertise into one kind of business in a box concept that delivers a transformational result for your clients. And the three levels are your, your branding and design skills. That's level one. And so that's like, can you build a good website? Are you pretty good at, at graphic design and logos? Or could you at least outsource that to someone else and kind of have that expertise so that you've got the design skills? Then you've got your marketing skills. So, okay, well, once you do the web design, what, do you, what are you gonna do with it? And so that's where we kind of, I'll, I'll ramp you up. I'll show you like 20 things that you can do with regard to marketing, like, like funnels and, and list building and, and drip campaigns and, um, I've even got a whole team of people where you can outsource stuff like SEO and ads and things like that. So basically you have a overflowing toolbox of marketing awesomeness that you can kind of put into the business in a box. So level one is your, your basically your design. Level two is your marketing. And then level three is your business consulting aspect of everything. And so we would then look at like, well, what, what industries do you know about? Like, what do you have experience in? You know, what do you find inspiring? You know, like, how, like, how can you contribute business consulting to your clients so that they get that transformative result? And what I mean by transformative result is that, it's, that there's a measurable and important difference that takes place in your client's business and, and really even in their, their personal lives because they've worked with you. And that's extraordinarily different from most people who just hand off websites. Where, to clients that aren't expecting it to do anything. Like there's, we, I think a couple of weeks ago, we were talking about how there's two different types of clients. There's clients who actually think their website's gonna do something for them by, by way of lead generation and, and, and product development and, and revenue streams and stuff like that. And then there's the clients that they just feel like they need a website. So if someone says, hey, what's your website? They don't have to say, well, I don't, I don't have one. And then they're like, well, you never heard of the internet. <laughs> what's the matter with you? They don't, just don't, want, they don't want to look dumb, right? Like there's some people that just want a website because that's what you do. They want to look like they know what's going on, but they just don't believe it's going to do anything, which is why they only have a budget of like 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or whatever. And so the other clients are the ones that are actually expecting the, the, the transformation to happen. And that's where you want to be. You, you want to be in a situation where you're delivering that, that kind of three layered business in a box concept where you've got your really strong branding and, and web design skills. You've got your marketing stack. And then on top of all of it, you kind of layer uh, uh, you know, your, your business consulting. So design, marketing, and business consulting. Those are the three layers. Put all of that together. And th that's really the, the raw ingredients. So th like that's what you need to pack in in order to really have that kind of explosive, you know, transformative effect for your clients. And level three, and how you get paid the most for web design is doing that. And so that's what double stack is all about. So if you feel like you want to kind of jump up to that third level, and you feel like you kind of already meet the requirement, because you can't just jump to level three right off the bat, because you have to have those three things. Like if you can't build a website, this isn't for you. If you're not interested in marketing, this isn't for you. Now you don't have to be a marketing guru already. Like I'll show you how to do it and we can pick it up really quick because it'll be a combination of things. Like a lot of the times the marketing skills that you'll be using will be structuring kind of your design skills in a marketing fashion. Like for example, a, like a sales funnel. 
is basically nothing more than a sequence of web pages that leads the, the visitor to taking some kind of action. And you already know how to build web pages. So it's really just, well, how do you structure that sequence and what's the glue between the pages and how do you write the copy that's compelling that, that you know, elicits that call to action. And so that's why we can pick it up really quick. And then on top of that, we'll also connect you with, with the, the whole team of people that we've got for, for ads and, and SEO and stuff like that. So there's certain things that you can outsource so you don't have to do it yourself, but you can still deliver like professional quality results for your clients. So you have to be willing to do that. So if you're not interested in marketing, then this isn't for you. If you're only interested in the design and not the marketing. So that's the second thing. And then the third thing that we do is we really figure out how do we get, how do we get that business consulting knowledge baked into the mix as well. And when you put all that together, boom, you get that, that transformative impact for your clients. And that's really, it's, it's where it's, it's another way to think about the pricing is it's, it's shift more towards value based pricing as opposed to selling hours or, um, or just how much does the website cost? You know, like instead of thinking, thinking of working with you as a cost to them, like, like business cards would be, you think, well, Hey, you know, because I worked with Brian, now I'm making, you know, an extra 50,000 or a hundred thousand or $200,000 that I didn't make before. And so then you can begin to price your work off that, you know, 50 or hundred or $200,000. And that's where the, the giant shift and being much more profitable with your web design really comes into play. So a quick summary, level one was just sell websites to anybody. And then, what, and then of course the problem with that is you run out of people to sell websites to, and then you fall into this problem where you have to do lead generation all the time, and that's gonna burn you out. You just can't, you just can't compete at that level, and there's, there's really no way to, to market to anyone at that, at, in that way anymore because all of these huge platforms like Wix and Squarespace and Fiverr and Upwork and like all of these other platforms have the marketing kind of locked in. It's like, so if you throw advertising dollars into that ocean, you're just a, you're just a drop in the bucket. Like you can't, you can't get any attention that way because it's so saturated with these larger corporations with these gigantic budgets and so forth. And then even if you could, the leads that come in are looking for like $500 budgets or $1,000 budgets. They're not looking at like 15 or 20 or $50,000 projects. And that's kind of where everybody tends to stall out and why, why people really hit that wall where they kind of tap out at somewhere around thirty to fifty thousand dollars a year because it's just you just can't find enough leads and, and it's just exhausting and, and you and you'd be better off to go get a job somewhere. And so then you have to make a decision and the decision is do I go get a job somewhere or can I bump up to another level? And that next level is finding that partner that offers some kind of a transformative impact for their clients and then you position yourself as part of that transformation. And then the third level, which is the one we just were talking about, is you become the transformation. Like you are the partner that offers that transformative impact, kind of with that three layered approach where you have your design, your marketing, and your business consulting. And you kind of put all that stuff in kind of that business in a box idea, and then you take it to market. And DoubleStack is designed to help you develop the skills to put in that business in a box, figure out what the box even is in the first place, and then to develop a way to actually take it to market so you can actually start winning clients. And then as you do, those clients, tend to be you know, significantly in the five figure range, which is why I only need like five to 10 of them to really get into that six figure web design business. So if that sounds good, like if you feel like that's the direction you wanna go and you kinda of wanna ramp things up into that third level, then give me a call and we'll talk about that. But you have to be able to build a pretty decent website to begin with, that's kind of the, the requirement to get started. And then the other two requirements are really just mindset requirements. One being that you, you do need to have the mindset that you're not just doing design, you're also gonna be doing marketing, but then I'll, I'll show you how to do it and make sure that you've got the resources to pull that off. And then the third part is you wanna be able to do business consulting for your clients as well. So if you feel like that kind of fits for you, head over to doublestack.net slash call and let's set up a time to talk and make sure that it is in fact a good fit for you and that's the direction you wanna go and you know, ask me some questions and we'll find out if, you know, if it's gonna be a good fit for both of us. And if so, then we'll get you rolling on it and it'll be awesome. So head over to doublestack.net slash call. When you hit that page, you're gonna see my calendar pop up and uh, you know, just find a time slot that works well for you. And then we'll get on the phone for like 45 minutes and, um, and really review you know, what type of clients have you been working with and, you know, what types of projects would you like to start working with? And what kind of revenue goals do you want to hit so that we can really start doing that? And in fact, there's all kinds of things, especially kind of going into this holiday season where everybody's going to be shopping online and, 
you know, the, the whole internet thing is going to be a really big deal more so this year than ever before. There's a lot of cool stuff that you can do right now to start winning clients and start getting some results for them. So, um, so anyway, the timing is great. Head on over to doublestack.net slash call. Find a time slot on the calendar that works well for you. And also right after picking the time slot, you're going to see um, a little application, you know, with a link to your website and a little bit more information about who you are so that when we do get on the phone, I'll be prepared and we'll just hit the ground running. So head over to doublestack.net slash call. And I look forward to talking to you. High five until then.